Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here. I'm Kaylee. I'm a designer and content creator and today we have a bit of a different video. I wanted to chat everything I would love to have in my wardrobe if money wasn't an issue. I've been incredibly sick for the last two weeks and I feel like I've been spending so much time online, so much time on Pinterest and just kind of seeking out inspiration for when I make my way back into the real world. Yesterday was my first day kind of out and about, so I've had a lot of time to think. I wanted to do a vlog for this video, but given that I haven't really been living life, I don't have anything to vlog about and I haven't really had a voice. My voice is honestly just now coming back, so I might, oh yeah, catch that fly. I might still sound a little weird. Maybe my energy is a bit low. Also, I imagine there's gonna be a good amount of background noise in this video. There's been people outside with speakers all morning long, but that's being in New York City. I do think this is a fun exercise to do, whether it's for manifesting or just to take inspiration from your own wardrobe. It doesn't have to be all about overconsumption. I've created various categories. One thing that I did notice when I was creating this list is that I do already have a wardrobe that I really love and I feel very thankful for that. I feel like I've been building out my personal style and I just have such a nice selection of basics. I have a lot of really good shoes. This is what I would own in my dream world. The first category I have is statement accessories. I have a lot of cool statement necklaces saved. Also eyewear. I love Sophie Buhai. There's some cool vintage corded necklaces with larger pendants that I really love. I have a few different black diamond and silver styles from Spinelli that are rings that I love as well. I feel like in my wardrobe right now, this necklace is kind of about a statement as it gets. I like a lot of silver, oxidized silver, gunmetals. I have found a lot of really cool pieces from smaller sellers on Etsy, whether they're handmaking styles or they're vintage. I'm gonna have everything that I talk about linked below, by the way, in case you're interested in browsing. And if you like my style i also have a lot of shopping curations on my website i am a prescription glasses wearer i'm not wearing them right now i haven't given contacts a try since i was like 10 and i found it traumatizing then and i just haven't tried them since i actually do like wearing glasses but i would love to have a few really cool pairs of glasses that would work with different outfits sunglasses too all with my prescription so I can see. Shoes, for the most part, are where I really feel I've honed in my wardrobe and I'm super excited to introduce you guys to the sponsor of this video, Seven or Nine. Seven or Nine creatively integrates the comfortability of sneakers into heels and ballet flats. Oftentimes, beautiful shoes aren't the best for everyday wear or a more active lifestyle, but I can attest that my shoes from Seven or Nine are more comfortable and supportive than some of my sneakers. And I obviously love that they don't compromise on aesthetics. First, I picked out their kitten heels and mascarpone. I often have trouble wearing pointed toe shoes for extended periods of time, but these are so comfy and chic. These feature 7 or 9's patented air touch foam technology and the toe cap is embedded with antibacterial cotton designed to be breathable and make your feet feel gently wrapped in a soft cloud. The outsole is anti-slip rubber and the insole is sheepskin with a recycled high elastic cushion core for sufficient support and rebound after long term wear. Here's an example of how I've been wearing them. I think they're so cute and I could totally see myself getting in another color. Next, I have the Mattress Flats in Coffee Candy. These are a beautiful brown lambskin upper and breathable soft sheepskin lining with similar gentle air touch foam toe. I think they're so perfect for everyday wear around the city or if you work in an office environment, they can be dressed up or down. They really do feel soft as a cloud on your feet. And lastly, I have their Air Foam Ballet Shoes in Blackberry Roll. I've been wearing these so much. And a really cool thing about 7 or 9 is that they also sell removable accessories for their shoes. I ended up picking out this black eyelet belt accessory to add to these flats. It's a really cute grommet belt detail and I love that I can make them feel a little bit more edgy when I want to. I also wanted to quickly show you guys some other shoes on 7 or 9 that I totally have my eye on and may be purchasing in the future. 
They're kindly offering you guys 15% off site-wide. If you'd like to check them out for yourself, I'll have all of these shoes linked below. The code is K-A-I-L-7-9. I'll have all the info in the description box. I truly love their shoes, and I think you guys will too. So thank you so much to 7 or 9 for partnering with me on this video. Now let's get back to my wardrobe wish list. The bulkiest category I have in this list are feminine basics. Maybe not things that I would wear on an everyday basis. I mean, maybe in the stream life I would, I don't know. Saved a lot of Vivian Westwood pieces, especially corsets. Those get so expensive, but I think a lot of them are really great collector's items. Honestly, fashion collector's items could be a totally different category, but I'm someone that I don't really like to own things that I don't use or at least that I don't look at every day. I have a lot of really beautiful Rick Owens pieces saved, whether they're dresses, silk pants, a lot of cool basic tops. I feel like so many Rick Owens pieces just really flatter my body type and I would love to have a nice collection of those for everyday wear. I also saved some Paris Georgia dresses. I've never owned anything from this brand, but I feel like they're really in line with my style. Remind me of like older Helmut Lang, Cohen's, Aunt Millimeester, all some of my favorite designers. This is a much more realistic item, but I really love this Paloma wool top, and I know a lot of you guys love it too because my affiliate link for this top on my website has been doing so well. It's a great item. My next category is beautiful event dresses that could be reworn. I feel like in my ideal world, if I had a special event or like a wedding that I was going to as a guest, I could just get in my closet and have a few dresses that I could choose from. I have some from Aunt Mulemeester that are gorgeous, a Vivian Westwood dress, more Rick Owens. Beckenbridge also has a lot of beautiful dresses. Then we have handbags. I'm admittedly not the biggest handbag girl. I used to care a lot more about them when I was younger and now I just gravitate a lot more towards vintage bags. Or if I want a designer handbag, I feel like I rarely want the one that's like super played out, super cool. Maybe you wouldn't know what it was at first glance. I've always wanted one of the older Chanel reissue bags. I actually got to borrow one for a job that I did with this company Rebag, which is a resale platform, and I loved having it so much I had a red one. But I will say it kind of demystified me wanting one because carrying it around really wasn't any different than most of my other handbags even though it was gorgeous. Maybe I put a Birkin on this list, but not one of the normal ones. I like the ones that are in more interesting shapes. I made my upstate wardrobe a whole different category. I feel like this is somewhere that I can still improve my wardrobe a bit. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I'm in the process of moving upstate. I'm renovating a project home up there right now, and it's just one of my favorite places to be. I'm not really a city girl anymore. I've seen these garden clogs everywhere. I don't know if you guys have too or if it's just the bubble that I'm in. I probably will be purchasing these one day soon. Just some nice casual clothes that are functional that I don't feel too overdressed in. I'm always living in my Tacovas up there already. I would love to have a pair of overalls that aren't completely covered in paint and drywall and just renovation mess. I think Acne Studios makes a lot of beautiful pieces, but definitely doesn't have to be designer. There's so many gorgeous vintage items that I could find. The only shoe category I have on here is tabbies, which is kind of funny because I already have a few pairs of Marcella tabbies, so I'm not sure why I want more. Tabby flats are an item that I've wanted for a really long time that I probably will get eventually, but honestly, the price of tabbies has gone up so much since I bought my first pair. I think it's basically doubled. And I will say that the pairs that I bought secondhand, I find to be better quality than the newer pairs, and I have heard that. So if you're in the market for a pair, definitely scour secondhand platform sites because I feel like since they've really been pushing them to mass market, the quality probably has gone down a little bit. That's just how things work. Here are some other styles that I definitely have my eye on. And then the last category that I have is really good sleepwear and underwear. This isn't the most realistic because truthfully, even when I have nicer sleepwear sets, I feel like I always end up in like my boyfriend's t-shirt in super gross sweatpants or something because that's just what I feel the most comfortable in. Tekla has a lot of gorgeous sets. Very Tekla vibe right now. I didn't realize I have so much strength and blue going on. I feel like blue green I'm really gravitating towards lately even though I'm not a big colors girl. I'm even drinking a green matcha right now. 
Sleeper has beautiful sets, Deji Studios has beautiful sets. I don't know. I think it's also something, at least in the city, about having dogs, mainly potty training a puppy, that sometimes I have to go outside on a whim. So even if I'm in like a gross t-shirt and sweatpants, that's something that I can step outside in comfortably, even if I don't feel the most cute, but like a cute PJ set, I would have to completely change out of. But hopefully that's a more temporary thing. But that's all that I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I would love to hear what items you have in your dream wardrobe below. If you like my content, I would love if you subscribed, if you haven't already. I've also been posting a lot more short form content on platforms like Instagram and TikTok. Everything's always linked below. Monday always has to make an appearance and my other dog, Laszlo, is always sleeping back there. <laughs> we'll see you guys super soon with a new video. Bye.